In this video, I will show you how to use ChatGPT Canvas for writing and refining stories in seconds. Then we will use ChatGPT's advanced voice mode for voice acting to produce realistic sounding voices with tonality and emotions. Finally, we will use these voice clips with Clink AI's lip syncing feature to create cinematic AI videos. First, let's watch the short clip. The deal is set, Queen. They will be at the docks tonight, just like you said. Good. You did well, Johnny. Now I will show you how we can leverage ChatGPT's new Canvas feature for writing stories. The Canvas feature launched recently and it's simply OpenAI's answer to cloud artifacts meaning you can leverage Canvas for writing code or for writing blog posts, or in today's case, we will try it for storytelling. So ensure that Canvas is selected. I wrote this prompt. Write a story based on the song Queen of Chinatown by Amanda Lear, featuring a protagonist who is an underworld mob queen from Chinatown. Unfortunately, due to copyright, I can't play that song in the channel. The Queen of Chinatown is a fantastic song. You can go ahead and listen. The, the song itself has a story in it. It's really nice. So I will hit send. And once you hit send, ChatGPT switches to canvas mode. It gives you more space here for easier readability of your content and chat part basically getting minimized into the left part. And here we have the story. In the heart of Chinatown, beneath the glow of crimson lanterns swaying in the night breeze, Mei Ling, reigned over her empire. They called her the Queen of Chinatown, though few dared to say it to her face. Her power lay not just in her connections or wealth, but in her poise, how she walked with quiet authority through streets that feared her name. It's actually quite good storytelling. We have the protagonist, Mei Ling, and you can see her short story is written here by ChatGPT. Now, there are a few things you can do. You can, of course, iterate together by giving more prompts and more creative direction to ChatGPT using the chat here. You can also leverage shortcuts that Canvas is offering to users. You can find them right here in this corner. For example, you can leverage Suggest Edits button. It's super interesting because if you click on it, then it will analyze the text it wrote and it will suggest edits to the text it wrote by itself. It's super interesting and mind-boggling. Consider adding more specific details about May's mother's struggles to create a stronger emotional connection with the reader. It's almost like you have your own literature critic. You could enhance the atmosphere by adding more sensory details, such as specific sounds or smells to make the scene more immersive. And when you hit apply, it will write these details on its own. You can see it's rewriting in a second and it added few additional things like neon lights, clinking of glasses. So it simply added more sensory details. So what else you can do with Canvas? You can adjust the length of your story. We click on the shortcut and then we can make it longer or shorter. Let's try to make it shorter. It will start rewriting and then you have the same story in a shorter length. In the same way, you can also make it longer. So here it's writing the story again, adding more details. So in the shorter version, in Mei Ling's story, there were less details about her mother and father. And now we are going into a little bit more details with her mother's past and details about her father being a dock worker. So it adds more depth to the story and makes it longer. We can also adjust our story according to the reading level of our audience. So you can see you can make it high schooler level, college level, graduate school level or kindergarten level. So let's try and see what's going to happen if we rethink this story in the kindergarten level. So ChatGPT says, I simplified the text to make it more suitable for kindergartners reading level. In the same way, we can also make it a little bit more advanced. So graduate school. Now it rewrote the story with adding some words that maybe a little bit less known. Trepidation, ephemeral, quietude. Quiet, it's even difficult for me. Quietude. It's an interesting word. And one another thing, you can select a word and then you can ask ChatGPT, for example, if you don't know the meaning of a word, what does this mean? And then in the same window, it will answer your question. 
quietitude means a state of quietness or calm. You can also do more interesting things, right? Okay, you can select our final and you can tell ChatGPT that this final sounds a little cheesy. Can you rethink it, but keep it out of the box? And then it selects the final and it rewrites it. <laughs> she embraced the rare silence, a temporary ceasefire. Her empire batted in a delicate calm, like a held bread before the storm. We can also add a final polish. And final polish means formatting. And now we have a title, we have our subtitles, and we have our sections for our story. Really incredible, really amazing work. So you can further refine format of your story. You can select the title, choose formatting, and switch it to heading 3. Or if you are not happy with that, you can go back to the previous versions of the same text. You can see we were playing with the tone, we were playing with the length, the readability level of audience we were playing with, you remember. Or you can just go back to the latest version and we have the final version of our story. Or we can go back to this version and then we have the big header. And you can choose the whole paragraph by this plus button here and then ask something. Make the start of the story more exciting. Chinatown was allowed buzzing with energy and danger. It added a little bit more dynamics about uh, Mei Ling's empire and why she was called Queen of Chinatown. Maybe we can say start with an exci exciting event, right? You wanna, you wanna capture the attention of the audience from the first paragraph. Okay, now we have gunfire, shattered the night. Tonight was yet another test of her authority. Mei Ling stood at the center of it all, her eyes sharp, unflinching as she watched her men return fire from behind cover. They called her the Queen of Chinatown. And you can really iterate your story with this and you can create some incredible stories with some depth. And this is not just like AI writing things. This is a collaboration and enhancement of human creativity with incredible intelligence power in your service. In the end of the day, you are the decision maker Still, you decide what sounds good and what sounds cheesy or lame, but you have this abundance of options that you can use. And only best of creatives understands that this is not a competitor to your creativity. It's an enhancer. It's an amplifier. Just to show you, just for fun, I will also add some emojis. And then it made it full of emojis. That's, I mean, it really changed some of the words to emojis. Okay, I definitely go back to my previous version. Restore. All right. I'm happy to be back. So I showed you the shortcuts. They are beneficial. But I will also show you how you can further refine your story. You can say, story is great. But can you also add a clever villain to story and make Mei Ling an anti-hero? Now you see how we are refining the story. And now we have Victor Chang as a clever antagonist to challenge Mei Ling. And Mei Ling is transformed into an anti-hero. So you can see we have new parts added to our story. It got a little longer, but it's because we added much more depth. And <laughs> look at this. So she made Mei an anti-hero because Victor Chang, he was more than a rival. He was a reflection of the parts of herself she tried to ignore. She was no hero. She was an anti-hero at best driven by desire to maintain control in a world that sought to strip it away. Well, I mean, it made it really obvious by saying that she's an anti-hero. But if you actually remove this part, you can say, don't make it so obvious. She was no hero. She was far from a traditional hero. Still, maybe I would remove this part. And <laughs> simply you can just use delete and then it's gone. And you can, of course, fill the parts you remote. How about we bring this scene to life, use ChatGPT's advanced voice mode for voice acting and use Klink AI's lip syncing for creating the videos. So we have this scene where a young man is approaching to May and saying that deal is set, Queen, they will be at talks tonight, just like you said. And then May answers, good, you did well, Johnny. So now I will switch to advanced voice mode and first I will need the voice acting for the young man. I pick one of the man's voice in advanced voice mode of ChatGPT. So I click on voice mode. I want you to say following sentence. The deal is set, queen. They will be at the docks tonight, just like you said. 
the deal is set, Queen. They will be at the docks tonight, just like you said. Fantastic. Now, I will change the voice so we can also have voice acting of May. I will pick Sol. It's kind of closest, not perfect, but it will do the job. I want you to say following sentence. Good, you did well, Johnny. Good, you did well, Johnny. Can you make the tone a little bit more darker, a little bit more sinister? Good, you did well, Johnny. Say it in a way that you are in deep thoughts. Good. You did well, Johnny. That's it. Thank you. Now we will generate images for the scene using Meet Journey. I'm selecting our scene here that we would like to create visuals from. Click on Ask Chat GPT. I wrote this prompt. Write visual description of the scene. The scene means that the part I selected from my story, step by step using this format. Cinematic film still, shot type, subject, action, location, fashion, film stock. These are like optional elements. So I'm using my Atomic Meat Journey cinematic prompting structure and asking ChatGPT to write Meat Journey prompts for me. Hit send and Meat Journey starts working on it. We have five prompts described in a nice way from cinematic perspective. All prompts start with cinematic film still. We have shot types. We have some film stocks and lightning even. And this is something we can work with. We come to Meet Journey. So I copy paste this. I will change May with Asian American underworld. Female Asian American underworld mob leader standing on a balcony, golden lotus overlooking Golden Lotus doesn't mean anything. Overlooking, dance floor, silk dress, flowing softly. Here, first of all, we need consistent cinematic looking style. I added this image to my prompt. It has nothing to do with the story, but it's uh, one of my mini AI films that I created. And I like the colors here. I like the vibe and I like the cinematic look here. And I'm going to use this as a star reference in all following images that I will generate to have this consistent look. I also add a star row and aspect ratio of 16 to 9. And let's hit generate. We have our main link and we need the next character. All right, we have American young man. He doesn't need to... Cinematic film still, close up American young man, balcony with neon lights in the background, casual streetwear. Okay, we need also close up of Johnny. I will use this as a star reference again. Have star raw and we have 16 to 9. I think this character looks a little bit sinister. So we can use this as a Johnny. I generated a few more scenes for Johnny. Yeah, I simply use this shot as a character reference. And I will upscale these shots using Magnific. Now I will show you a new lip syncing feature from Klink. And for that, we are going to image to video. We have the new model selected and I will upload an image. I will use this image. And what you need to be careful is you need to ensure that mouth and face is visible all the time, because if it's not visible, then you click on lip syncing feature, it won't work out. So I'm choosing this image and uploading to Klink. As a prompt, I'm going to write man talks slowly. And I'm going to set the relevance quite high because when creativity is high, sometimes it gets strange. I will generate 10 seconds long. The maximum clip length you can use for lip syncing is 10 seconds. And I hit generate. While this is generating, I will show you the other example. This clip took for me around 10 minutes to generate. It's a 10 seconds long clip where I have the prompt, the woman is talking. Now we will click on match mod type. And this is lip syncing. And when you click on it, it will start analyzing the video. It's basically identifying the face and mouth. And if it is successful, then it will take you to this screen where you can upload your voice samples. I will upload my voice sample I created with ChatGPT. And I use CapCut to isolate these voices. Of course, you can use Eleven Labs or other text to voice tools for simplifying your audio workflow. I choose this and then it will start generating. It will upload the voice and you can trim it using scissor icon here and it will start generating the lip sync. So our video is ready. Let's watch it. Good. You did well, Johnny. I think lip sync quality is quite satisfactory in acceptable levels. 
In comparison to LipDub, which is an upcoming dubbing tool, of course, it's a little behind. Comparison to Runway, though, I think Link's lip syncing is much better. On Runway, I was getting errors very often if there is any darker cinematic scenes. And of course, I understand that the face and lips should be visible. But occasionally, even in regular well-lit portraits, I was getting errors. I generated a dub also for Johnny. The deal is set to Queen. They will be at the docks tonight, just like you said. There's also a redub option, so if you are not happy with the result, you can rerun it. So next thing I want to show you on Clink is something called Rack Focus. First, we have a focus on this character, and after that, focus switches here. So this is called Rack Focus, and you can have focus on the close-up, and after that, you can have wide-angle shot, and it generates very cinematic results. And it's used in filmmaking to emphasize focus. It's a quite useful prompt. Hopefully this video was truly helpful for you. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. And make sure to subscribe for more in-depth tutorials. If you want to learn more, click here.